washing my hair and as you can see like look at this can you see the excess of hair missing oh my god that's crazy crazy huh look at that all of my hair missing postpartum hair loss 2019 this is all the hair I'm losing so far especially this big piece, look at that. More and more and more. Like this hand. is our beauty so like looking at my hair like this it literally makes me feel so yeah ugly and ugh. you know like my aunt came to visit from jamaica um she came and stopped over um for two nights two sorry not two nights two days and a night so from monday and um we dropped her back to the train station yesterday um because she was heading to london to see some other family members and to be honest, like we took some photos, like every single photo that I looked at with myself, I was just like, uh, I look so disgusting. And, you know, even though I cover my hair with my, my head wraps, you know, I like to pull it back a little bit and look at this. This is all you see. It's like, what is this? You know, so, you know, they say your hair is your beauty, but when you are missing hair, and here <laughs> you don't feel so pretty you don't feel so beautiful more pineapple, more pineapple? Yeah. So I just literally finished um, recording my video for the video that you literally just watched um, on Sunday. I just finished recording that video and I just decided to just have a quick little sit down here and talk about how I am feeling going through postpartum hair loss. Let me just move this a little bit closer. 
So as you know, people say your hair is your beauty and that um, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And I have to say, you know, going through postpartum hair loss can leave us, whoa, can leave us mothers feeling so insecure and, oh, little girl, you're exposing me. Yeah, so you know, you can be left feeling ex exposed. You can, well, you do, you are left feeling exposed and vulnerable and not so beautiful. So you're not necessarily feeling your most beautiful or anything of the sort. So, you know, I can understand, you know, the, the, um, the low vibrations you might be vibrating at, at this moment, ladies who are going through postpartum hair loss. But in saying that, you know, experiencing this, like not having my edges and then having these short locks at the front you know got me feeling like i am not looking my greatest now the only reason why i'm all made up like this is because i literally just finished filming a video which will be up um which you guys would have seen on sunday so yeah so i just wanted to find out what you mothers are experiencing because you know i did a poll in my community section on my channel and i asked you guys um who um of my audience is actually going through postpartum hair loss and uh let me see as of today june 7th let me tell you how many of you are saying that you go through postpartum hair loss let me see so according to my um the poll here according to the poll here 41 percent of you i don't know if you can see that but 41 percent of my audience is um who took part in the poll is going through postpartum hair loss 31% um, say that they're experiencing hair loss because of lack of care. So it could be anything from like not cutting your hair, you know, when you're having split ends or, you know, you're over processing your hair with relaxers or dyes or anything like that. 12% um, is saying that it's traction alopecia. So, you know, pulling on your hair too tight. Um, and uh, let me see. 9% um, for medical reasons. So that could just be, as it's obvious, anything relating to your health or, you know, going through, like, for example, cancer and losing your hair. And 6% um, says other. So other could be anything like uh, male pattern baldness or anything else that could, that hasn't been listed here. So it's interesting to know that majority of my audience is actually going through the same thing that I'm going through. So I hope that these videos can be um, helpful to you guys you know in i don't know just opening some dialogue and we can just kind of bounce off of each other and help each other feel good so i'm just going to be journeying um every two weeks just to show you guys what i am um going through and how i'm developing and as you can see since my last video my hair has been going even more look at that and my video that video was because i recorded that on the 15th of may and today's the 7th of June. So in the space of, so let me see, let me see. One, two, three. So in the space of three weeks, I have been losing more hair and it's just, yeah, crazy. Like all of this now is gone right here. And um, yeah, so I don't know. Is anybody else losing as much hair as I am? Like, you know, let me know in the comment section. So definitely let me know and I will keep sharing my journey with you. And I would love for you guys to share your journey with me in the comment section because, you know, we are a community and we're doing this together. So, yeah, I'm going to sign out right now. But let me know how do you feel going through track, um, traction alopecia, going through hair loss, whatever hair loss you're going through. Do you feel beautiful? Do you feel like, oh, my God, I just look ridiculous because like I says, there is that saying that goes, your hair is your beauty. And to a certain degree, I actually believe it because with me going through postpartum hair loss i don't necessarily feel the best so mm, i don't know but anyway guys i will see you in the next video next not next week but the week after that on wednesday